My name is Dana Kelly and I'm a violist. I was on Ensemble Connect from 2014 to 2016. Now I live in New York City and I'm a member of the Orpheus Chamber Orchestra and also pursue many chamber music projects on the side as well as subbing in various orchestras. The piece I'm going to play for you today is the first movement of the Brahms Sonata for Viola and Piano, Opus 120, Number 2 in E flat major. I first heard this piece when I was a junior at Vanderbilt University. I was a violinist at the time, but I had signed up for a class called Viola for Violinists. I didn't know much about the instrument at all, other than it seemed awkwardly large, but I thought it would come in handy for me to learn how to read alto clef in case a wedding gig popped up or if I was invited to a sight reading party where there were too many violinists. During one of these classes, I heard someone playing this Brahms sonata, and I was completely awestruck. I was taken by the sound of the instrument and the depth and um, emotional content of the music. And I had this emotional response to it that I had never had listening to any other piece in my life up to that point. So of course I had to learn it. By this point though, I had only been studying viola for a few weeks and I couldn't really read alto clef, but that wasn't gonna get in my way. I was gonna learn the piece no matter what. So I practiced for a few weeks and decided it was time for me to perform on that same weekly performance class. I got up on stage and my nerves totally overtook me. I was shaking. I was more nervous than I had ever been for any other performance I'd ever had. Um, so I started playing and I missed so many notes, more than I can count. I came in at all the wrong times and at a few moments I played on the wrong string. It was really embarrassing <laughs> and when the performance was over, no one in the audience said anything. They were supposed to give some constructive criticism, but it was just so bad they didn't know what to say to me. So that happened and I realized how having such a strong emotional connection to a piece and being so vulnerable um, can affect a performance and it really drove me to find a way to harness those emotions and uh, bring them into my playing in a way that would communicate with an audience and also allow me to be expressive without um, losing control. So because of that piece, I am now a violist and uh, strive for that kind of performance all the time. Performing this piece still makes me very nervous to this day because I have this deep emotional connection to it and I'm always reminded of the first time I tried and failed to play it in public. But I'm very excited to share it with you today.